when they come out here and see if the ice is starting to melt. It, it looks like it's melting. It didn't take long for this to start melting. Because of that, I was really getting concerned that our external shower would start freezing up. But I'm sure some of you, now that we're outside, remember this beautiful place. What I want to do is start collecting some firewood because I want a big fire today. That is something we haven't had the opportunity to have in a while. Before we start a fire, we always have to clean out the fire pit. This is what we got going on. I just tried to lift it up with a shovel and it's like a big chunk of plastic. I'm not sure, wax. I don't know what they did. Decided we needed a little snack to power through the day, so nothing like chips and salsa. Oh, y'all know you can't have Christmas without chips and salsa. Well, in my book, you can't have any day without chips and salsa. So y'all won't believe this. We brought something along with us to go on our Charlie Brown Christmas tree that we have. Yeah, we're gonna be very festive and decorate a tree. Now we didn't bring balls and ornaments or anything, but we do have Christmas lights. Kelly's dad had an extra strand of them and we said we want a little Christmas cheer besides the hat. They gave me the hat too. I can't believe it fits my head. You know, it's actually Jonathan's hat. What? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Jonathan. Besides us wanting to camp at this location because it's one of our favorites and it's in direct sunlight all day, so it's warmer here. We knew that there was little pine trees. Now they're not the most snazzy looking tree but hey it'll do look at that now nick was so kind to make sure every single bulb worked 
see if we can get some tree to tree like the most of the trees. Or... Okay. Half of our strand of lights are out, but they worked at the house. We will adapt and we will overcome. It occurred to me that we have Lucy lights. So we're gonna do this, see how that looks. The downside is, is that they're almost dead. So we're just gonna put them on low when the, when the light gets a little bit darker out here. And I was gonna go ahead and work with the little bit of power that we have left. See, it's not even coming on, this is so weird. Now they're not working at all. Is that a fuse? No, no fuse. Nick, your lights aren't twinkling. They're not twinkling? They're not twinkling. They're not even working. I don't even know what happened. This is just weird. I know, they were working. This is really bugging me. I'm gonna try one more time. Maybe it is. Okay. Our little Charlie Brown Christmas trees. Aren't they pretty? We're getting ready for dinner and tonight I'm gonna be making my beef bourguignon. First thing we gotta do, sear some bacon. Our bacon's done. I'm gonna crumble that once it cools, but I'm gonna go in with the beef. All right, so I've flip, flipped my beef. I did salt and pepper, and now I'm gonna do some flour. And then I'm gonna continue to let it sear. Our beef is done, so we're gonna put that in the pressure cooker. Now, oh, whoops, I cooked my beef bourguignon in a pressure cooker, but I'm gonna pre prepare everything that goes in it, like searing it in this cast iron. We also have the bacon that I fried, and I just crumbled it up, and we're gonna throw it in here. Now we're gonna cut up our carrots and onion. I'm gonna do carrots first. We've got our carrots here. I just put some oil in the pan and I'm gonna scrape up all the fat from the beef. My carrots are gonna go in. Let those get a little soft. And now I'm gonna do my onion. Let's add the onion in with the carrot. Now let's add in some garlic. We're gonna go ahead and do one cup of wine and this will go into the pressure cooker. Also gonna add one cup of beef stock. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my vegetables in here. I like to use Better Than Bouillon. It's a paste and this is the beef. And I'm just gonna do a spoon of that. Also have some tomato paste that's gonna go in. Last thing we have is the herbs. I'm gonna chop up some parsley. We have a bay leaf that's gonna go in there. Throw that in there. And then we have some thyme. Stir this up. Now we're ready to start the pressure cooker. So we got the lid on and put the top on to secure it. And you wanna make sure you have it really, really tight. With this pressure cooker, this is your old school pressure cooker. It doesn't have any digital thermometers or anything like that. So you wanna just put your stove top on high. And once you hear these two things up here start whistling, start your timer. I'm gonna time this for 30 minutes and then we'll, you wait and you can let all the pressure release out through these valves. You do not wanna take the lid off until all the pressure is released from the valve. And then we'll add some mushrooms in it after that. Now, while we're waiting on the beef organ yum, I like to make mashed potatoes with mine. Just got the timer started and this is what we are looking for. Like an old steam locomotive. Hey babe, how'd you get a potato up here? I don't know. <laughs> All my potatoes are not looking good. I know. I don't know about that hole in the middle of the potato. This one's the same way. Or this. Kind of weird looking. It's time to take it off the heat. Oh, did you turn it off? No. Let 
I'll go ahead and pull them off. Ready? Okay. Yeah. So that there's the unconventional way of uh, letting the pressure relief naturally. Or you could just leave those on if you're too afraid to pull them off and it will eventually release. So now what I'm gonna do is saute some mushrooms. I'm gonna dice those up or slice them up, saute them with some butter in my cast iron skillet. And then once this gets done, we'll toss them into that and maybe simmer it for a little bit depending on the thickness of the juice in there. Still waiting on potatoes. Jonathan, I'm sorry, your hat smells like smoke, but it's a good smoke, it's a campfire smoke, and I know how you love campfires. That right there is one warm, hot fire. Hey, here comes a truck driver. Looks like Jonathan. It's not, is it? No. Looks like Jonathan. No, I don't think it is. He has a new phone book. That yeah. is Jonathan. You won't believe it. <laughs> oh my God. It's Jonathan. It's Jonathan. My Christmas miracle has occurred. Hi. Let's say Jonathan. He was like, that's Jonathan. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be honest. We really did not expect Jonathan to know no. where we were. <laughs> and we didn't tell him where we were. No. How'd you find us? I just saw, well, on the Live 360 app, it said where you lost service. Like, oh, I know where they're at. I know <laughs> where they lost knew. service. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Hey, Jonathan, this is your Christmas hat, by the way. Okay. It smells like like campfire smoke, so if you want it. Oh, that's fine. I don't, I don't want it. Oh, you need it. Okay. <laughs> Look at him. Look at that little kid right there. Look at that. So tonight, Jonathan, we are making a um, beef bourguignon. Mm. Yes. I don't think I've ever had that. Oh, no? it's good. No. It's good. How long did it take you to get here? Two hours. There's really no easy way to get to the camps, camping area that we're at. It's either go all the way to Mina, Arkansas, and then backtrack on dirt roads, or just eat a bunch of dirt roads yeah. for a really long distance. Oh yeah. All right, now we've got our butter melted in the cast iron. We're gonna add in the mushrooms. Y'all, I still can't get over that Jonathan's here. I know. <laughs> I'm really shocked. I was like, I saw the car coming down the road and I was like, that's the first person to come down the road the whole time we've Our been here. Customer. And then when they flashed the lights, I was like, that's the new bumper Jonathan got. <laughs> I was like, that's JLB. <laughs> Kelly was like, no, it's not. I was like, no, I was like, wait a minute, let me look at the bumper. And I was like, oh my God, it is Jonathan. <laughs> I can't believe I'm out here. <laughs> so, you know, Christmas for us is actually like a week away. So this is the weekend before, but We'll see him on Christmas, so that's when we were expecting to see Jonathan. So this is just an early Christmas present. <laughs> it is. Yeah. I haven't seen you in months, bro. I know, it's been a while. Gosh. It looks like our mushrooms are done, so what we're gonna do is toss those into the bourguignon, and then we're gonna let it simmer with the lid off. Also, my potatoes are done, so I just put a whole stick of butter in there. It's the only way to make <laughs> mashed potatoes. And hopefully that will melt. No, and I'll turn the heat on. I'm also going to add in some milk. All right, mushrooms going in. And then we're going to set that over here to see if it's hot. Is it hot, you think? No, I think it's good. Now we're just going to simmer. Mashed potatoes are done. I added two sticks of butter all together, a little bit of milk, salt and pepper, heavy on the salt, of course. But it is time to prepare plates. Are you hungry? Yeah. Well, I said I had another chair, but I don't. Uh, what? We don't have another one, no. do we? No. Jonathan, you can. You I got can... a lounger. Okay. I'll get the lounger out. Here's a fork. <laughs> <laughs> oh, make sure you, whoever got the bay leaf, prepare for that. Oh, I'm sure I'll get the bay leaf. Look how gorgeous that is. The way it just drips off. Wow. This is what dreams are made of, y'all. Really is. All right. Uh, I don't know if it needs more salt and pepper. We'll have to judge. All right. Let's see. I want to try it real quick so you can see. You I got that? the bay leaf. Oh, you did? Yeah. Stop. <laughs> it means you got to do dishes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
for the Christmas tree lighting. Let's see what this Charlie Brown Christmas experience has to offer, Angel Princess. Oh, I bet this one's dead. Yep, this one's dead. That one's dead, okay. <laughs> On to the next. This is some real Charlie Brown. There we go. Look at that. Look Merry at Christmas. that. Merry Christmas. That is a Charlie Brown That's Christmas pretty. story. It is pretty. Look at that, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's gorgeous. We want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we'll catch you on the other. See ya. Hey there, buddy. It's just me again. Came into my mind last night, so I'm just, I'm just checking in. It's been far too long now since I last saw you, my friend. So happy Christmas from me to you. Hey there, buddy. This is me again I wonder what you're doing now And if you're listening I just wish there was some way Things could have been different But happy Christmas From me to you